So this was a, a 10 year update of a study that had previously been um, reported and published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2008, evaluating different taxanes and taxane schedules as a component of adjuvant chemotherapy for a localized breast cancer. We had initially found and reported after median follow-up of about five years that weekly paclitaxel was associated with improved disease-free and overall survival, and that this benefit was uh, occurred irrespective of estrogen and progesterone receptor expression. And so weekly paclitaxel emerged as the preferred option in, in that particular trial. At 10 years of follow-up, we continue to see a very strong benefit for weekly paclitaxel in patients, particularly with triple negative disease. There was about a 10% absolute uh, improvement in 10-year disease-free survival and 10-year uh, overall survival. For the hormone receptor positive population, However, the early benefit that we saw for weekly paclitaxel did not seem to be maintained and the outcomes were actually quite similar in the four different groups. And, and in this population, generally received uh, about five years of endocrine therapy. They did not receive endocrine therapy. And this is a population known to be at risk for late relapse. So the conclusions from this part of the update were that perhaps greater attention to extended adjuvant therapy may help reduce the risk of late relapse. And that may be a more important component of therapy than deciding on which taxane or schedule to give early on in therapy. The third important finding was the strong associations that we found between obesity and also between black race and the absence of obesity in women who had estrogen receptor positive disease. And this increased risk of occurrence in the obese group tended to begin to play out at about three years after diagnosis. So this, this has been substantiated in other reports and it raises the opportunity to study dietary and lifestyle interventions to help reduce the risk of recurrence in this group of women who have ER positive or 2 negative disease and have a high body mass index.